welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be installing beehive heaters. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've seen wires hanging off the back of my hives, my beehives are a little bit unusual. I'm just a hobby beekeeper and uh, I just do this in my backyard. I'm not a professional by any means. Actually, it's only my second year of beekeeping, so I'm still learning, but I have a problem. I'm kind of creative. So, last year, actually before last year, before I started beekeeping, I built some beehive heaters to keep my bees warm in the winter. Uh, and I also put coolers on these to keep my bees cool in the summer. It gets very, very hot here in Georgia. So if you've seen the wires hanging off the back of my hives, that's what they are. Those are the control units that control the fans on the top and the heaters on the bottom. Well, today we are going to be putting the hive heater boxes on each one of the hives that way these bees will have everything they need to go into winter and it's going to get down into the into the 40s tonight i know it doesn't look that way i mean it's green leaves and it's sunny and very bright out here but uh but fall is here and it's going to get into the 40s tonight and the 40s the next couple of uh next couple of days in the evening and i want to make sure that these bees don't have to cluster they can continue to work on uh, evaporating their nectar that they're getting from the goldenrod right now and uh, continue to produce brood i want to go into the winter with a strong brood and last year my observation was throughout the winter and throughout the spring that my bees continued to produce brood all winter long. They never, the queens never stopped laying. And again, in the spring, I had some very, very strong hives. So strong, in fact, that in March, I had multiple swarms. Um, so if you are going to build these hive heaters and there are instructions on how to do so in my playlists, you can look down in the playlists and find, uh, find out how to do it. Um, if you're going to build these, you are going to have to manage your hives in the springtime because you will come out of winter with strong brood and uh, they will be ready to swarm in some cases before there's a lot of resources out there so with all that said i'm not going to be saying a lot i'm going to put my veil on go wear gloves might actually go get my bee suit uh, or at least the jacket because i'm going to be stripping down all of these hives there's going to be a lot of bees flying around they're not going to be very happy with me but in the end they will have heat and tonight these bees are going to be warm one more thing before we begin, this is what the heat box looks like. It's two reptile heating lamps down on the bottom of this hive. And these are activated when the control unit thermostat reaches a, cer a certain set temp. It will turn this on and then turn it off when the, hive or re or when the hive reaches the temperature that I've set it to. So that is what the heating unit looks like. All right, now if I know my editing, I'm gonna be moving really, really fast here in a minute. I hope I don't get winded. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in a second when we're all done. Let's do this.
All right, so I just got all of the hive heaters installed on each one of these hives and all was right with the world and I was about to do my sign off. And then I had to get something to drink because I was thirsty and I went up there to my shop and realized that I forgot to install the diffuser boards. Now this board, what it does is it allows the heat from the heat lamps to diffuse in the box and come up evenly throughout the hive. That way I don't melt any comb. But fortunately for me, I have a really good neighbor who's right behind me. He was outside and he offered to come over and slide these under the hives when I lifted the, uh, lifted the hives up. So now all the hives have their heaters and the diffuser board on them and we're in good shape. So I will be coming out here tonight or early tomorrow morning to check the hive temperature to make sure that we're in good shape and I'll append that to the end of this video. Alright, well it is the next morning and it is 42 degrees outside. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to run down here and make sure that all these heat boxes are working and see if our bees are warm. Looks like we have lights on all of the hives. That's good. We didn't throw a breaker last night. That was a concern. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we go. That's not bad. The set temp is 70 degrees. This is the uh, actual heater. So it says 69.3 and heating. I've got a differential on all of these of plus, of plus or minus two degrees. Not bad, 66.1 and that one is not heating. Why is that? What is my set temp on this one? Oh, 65. Let's bump that one up. There we go. Now it's heating. So we had to get that temperature back up. 68.8. Once that hits 67, it is going to heat. So those bees are warm. 68.2 on this one. And it is heating. 65.0 and that one is heating. Sixty-eight point six. That will start heating when we drop another point six degrees. Looks like that heat cycle just finished. That one's at seventy-two point two. Oh, in this one we have a problem. This one says that it's heating. And it's at 53.5, which tells me that I've got a light bulb out or there's something wrong with that heat box. So I will be replacing this heat box or at least taking it apart and looking at it today. I've got a problem there. And this one here, we are at 67.9 and heating. Let's take a look and make sure we've got the set temp right on this one. 70 degrees. Yeah, this 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 heat box has a problem. That's not bad. Most of them are working, and all of the bees, except for the poor Crinoch bees, were uh, were warm last night. And let me tell you, it is a brisk morning. I hope you liked the video. Our bees are warm. So if you did like the video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. By all means, if you have something to say, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in building heat boxes for yourself, I do have uh, a how-to down in the, uh, in the playlists. You'll find it. It's a... Uh, Four video, three part series. How does that happen, you ask? Well, I got to the end and figured let's throw one more video out there. I'll show you how to wire these things. So it's a four video, three part series.
I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.